Code name, the cage is complete. Well, the room is. We still have a lot to put in there. We've, uh, well, we replaced our, our pillager with a slime. And we've got ourselves the rabbit. We need more. All of this needs to be filled up. And I thought we'd add a few more cages as well. Like, these don't actually produce anything. They just looks. But I think we can add them in just for a bit of show. I think it would look quite cool. Today's episode, though, we're going to be building a new farm. We're going to make the lab called the tower the tower but first we handed rise doll back to them and well let's see how that went time to let Rai crack open the doll oh magnets god damn those magnets oh. hey Okay, so apparently Bri died, <laughs> and now the doll's just sitting next to the body. <laughs> oh man. That's some decent stuff. <laughs> but first, we handed Rise Doll back to them. And well, let's see how that went. We also ran our first uh, Hunt the Guardians vault, and it didn't go so well. Um, let's, uh, let's roll the clip. Yeah. Let's roll the clip. Right, let's roll. You ready? Off you go first. How many more lists we got? Loads. I don't know if we're completing this. <laughs> okay, this is going to be deadly. The six of them. Oh. Oh god, the crossbow one's really hurt. Ow! Yikes! And I, I, I didn't bring blocks. Why well, not brought blocks? Let me just uh, dash and get blocks out of the rucksack. Uh, okay, I've got two blocks on me. This baby might kill me. I don't know where I was either. That means I lost all my stuff. Also, we uh we need to uh we need to work. We need to work on the cage. To work on the cage though, we need more. More more eggs. So we made a few trade deals. Um and we got a few more eggs. And we should probably roll those, right? So we have seven eggs. We don't want to make them all um hostile mystery eggs though. I'm thinking making three of them at the moment. I'm gonna start with three. So let's create those. So we're going to start with just three. We could make six of them, but I don't want the six. I want three because we have that pillage on that we can use to re-roll if we don't like these. So we've got a cave spider. Okay. Skeleton. Meh. Enderman. Okay, that one's good. I like Enderman. We can get Ender Pearls really easily now. But I don't like... Um, the cave spider is actually pretty good. We need that. Um, I'm looking at completely the wrong chest. Uh, the drown's also pretty good. The the skeleton and the cave spider are good. And mm, is the cave is the skeleton good though? We have that mob farm. I mean, we could get rid of it. We could get rid of it. Um, but I don't really want to. So Enderman's good. 
cave spider is good, and I think we're actually good for Skelly at the moment. I don't think it's going to be that important, so we're going to re-roll these two. And to re-roll them, what do we need again? We need a regret, regret chunk and some perfect Alexandrite, which I believe we have. Perfect Alexandrite and some regret trunks. Chunks, chunks, chunks. There we go. Perfecto. So... We're now going to craft... Oh, Vault Diamonds. We are good with Vault Diamonds. So, let's make up a new Mystery Egg. So, now we've got five. So, we're actually going to make two more mob, um, Hostile Mob Eggs. Just two. Let's have a look. We get a Spider Spawn Egg, which is bad. And a Zombie. We don't want either of those. So... We're going to turn these two back into another mystery egg. Did I get enough stuff out? I hope so. Okay, perfect. Let's just make sure we've got the right two. Zombie and spider. Perfecto. And then this could be our last hostile. Come on, be good, be good, be good. Be good. And we got a husk. We didn't want a husk. But we do. We are going to pack three of these. What do we get? We've got a pig. That's okay. A donkey is pretty naff. And a chicken. Chicken's okay as well. The ones we don't like now, then, is we have... Out of all of these, we have some good ones and some bad ones. Um, in this one here. So, we've got donkey is... A pig, I think, is going to be good. Because we can get pork in the altar. Chicken's also good. A husk, though, is bad. I don't think the husk is me anything that um, a drowned doesn't. So we're going to need some more eternal souls. That's what we're looking for. But also, we have these. So let's crack all these. Oh, I feel good. Because remember, we get some good stuff from some of these. Especially. So this should have all gone into this box back here. And it did. So we knew we were getting some of this uh, black chromatic steel, which is going to be very necessary. We got some um, chromatic steel ingots as well, which are really good. Do you get anything else? That seems really cool. Ooh, seven knowledge essence is pretty good. Except for that, nothing too important. Some cool gear, which we'll roll later. But I was hoping potentially getting another mystery egg. Oh well. Right, time to... Uh, Get on to today's uh, episode, although I hope it stops raining. Apparently my roof's leaking because, uh, well, oh, it's dried up now. Oh, no, not 100% dried up. You can see that you could have saw the reflection and uh, there was water in here a second ago. Hmm. Maybe these frameless glass blocks don't count as solid blocks for the shaders, maybe? I don't know. So I think I've got everything here that I need for the crate farm. I think. So, um, let's, uh, sort of replace this stuff. I've dug a 5x5 hole. But why? But why? And this is the reason for the hole. We've got some sails here. So, if let's see if we can fly out in one go. No one go. But actually, we can jump out. So, now, we've got our sails. We've got 64 sails. And we can take our windmill bearing and crouch jump. So, it faces down. So, now, if I right click. Here we go. We have a rotational and it's going to go straight up. So this going downwards into the ground is really good. It means we can build our farm vertically going up on top, which is really good. Not many people um, tend to do this with windmills. They tend to have one, you know, all the way out the side and then pipe it in then some gear shifts. We can just have it like that for our farms, which is really useful. Admittedly, we're not going to be having anything a few blocks up, so we're going to leave a little bit of space between the next one so well we're gonna have our mechanical uh, mechanical bearing straight on top of it I'm gonna have a radial chassis on top of that but there's gonna be a few more um, it's gonna be a few more of the radial um, what they called radial the radial chassis the radial chassis um, we're gonna have a few more radial chassis going on top until we have our first floor and this is what we've got we've got a distance of four with water at the end so it keeps all of this made nice and farmable 
we get on these little stairs, we can turn on the windmill, which spins the whole thing, which is absolutely phenomenal, which is what we need. Okay, we need to work out which way we're rotating. So if we right click this, we are going anti-clockwise. Okay, brilliant. So what we need to do is take our linear chassis and we're going to go out one, two, three, and four. We're then going to stick super glue on these four faces and we're going to put four mechanical harvesters on there. So this is going to harvest our crops as we're going around. We're going to get some glue, we're going to stick it on this side here and we are going to chuck in a chest. We want it facing this way and connect to the side. So now this should bring the chest with it. Let's find out. I'm hoping it's bringing both parts. Ah, I have made a big mistake. I have forgot to glue that section there. So I need to also chuck glue on. So we're going to need to destroy this and this. So we need to glue onto this radial chassis. So then we glue this. We need to glue this back on and put in our mechanical harvester so this can harvest all of the one tool crops we can't do sugar cane with this it's gonna be a little bit more complicated although i don't like how that chest is not on the same one so we might destroy that and remove it and you know move it back okay now it's all in the right place we do need to connect it to our external storage to use that we're going to use a portable storage interface and now i think we're going to test something out here i think if i put it on the end here this should rotate along with the rest of it. Let's find out. So let's uh, let's get it moving. Is it going round with it? I think it would be. And it is. Brilliant. And we want to leave a two space gap. So that's over top of the water. So one, two. And it's going to go in here facing this way. And what we can do is we can uh, mine out some little space below. Because we do have that sort of space there. We're going to get another double chest and a chute. So we've got a double chest and we're going to take one of these chutes. We can then put the double chest one space below portable storage and chuck a chute on top. Now anything that gets harvested will go to this portable storage and down to the double chest. We can make this a lot better storage later on. So next things next is I want this to be more than just one layer. I need to do a second layer now. And that's floor number two done, which gives us more room for more crops. And I think the third floor is going to be for sugar cane. So that's going to be a slightly different and a little bit more tricky. So this little level is intact. We've got a checkerboard pattern and we've got water going around the outside so we can get all of these to be... Um, sugar cane we just need to fill all these up so all of these are water logs and so the difference between this one is this is only one block with water on the outside so this has to be a solid hole block underneath so this is an extra layer basically to be able to get it to where we need it to be and now we should put the tedious job of filling all this up with water and this is the final floor that we're going to do for now so what we're going to do is bring out our linear chassis once again and it's going anti-clockwise. So that means we're going to stick glue on these four and stick some more harvesters, but this time we're leaving a gap. Otherwise, we'll destroy the first level of sugarcane, which we don't want it to do. Now then, with all that done, we actually do need to do some lighting because otherwise, it's not going to work. So I'm going to stick. Uh, in fact, actually, let's do one light block above all of these water going around on all of these floors. That should work quite nicely. And let's uh, get all the crops in. So that is the farm all geared up. Well, nearly all geared up. It's just something we need to do. Because on these floors, as you can see, we can't do everything. Because when this spins, it's going to disrupt things. So what we're going to have is we're going to have some more flax seeds. I'm going to chuck some flax down in here. And all of these floors, by the way, are still connected to this one um, portable storage interface. We're going to need to rehose some of these as we go around. And we also need to fill some of these more out. Um, 
Thinking maybe let's chuck some beetroot seeds in here. We've got beetroot on both floors, but not that many of them. And that leaves us with some eight carrots and some flax seeds, which we can do. And as you can see, I've stuck on some of these um, light sources onto the machine so it will rotate and keep everything bright because we will be encasing this soon. So let's turn it on. Let's see how this goes. And does it break? That's the real question. Does it spend? Uh, 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 um. Uh, okay. Why is that spinning with that? I'm going to need to work out what's going on there because that should not be happening. Um, yeah. Okay, fixed it. So what we need to do is when it's moving, we can't actually put anything behind it until it starts moving. So now let's re hoe all of these and now we can get things planted. There's been a few spillages with things that have happened. However, we should be fine. Um, we haven't really gathered much so far, which is a little bit disappointing. That might be because it wasn't really working properly, and it should be working properly n now. It's it's it broke because of that because it stopped. Ah uh, man, I guess that will be okay uh yeah a little glitch never hurt anyone right and that is our farm up and running we don't have too much resources yet but we'll get there over time everything's been gathered slowly but surely although this one keeps being missed so maybe i should have done this one wider but it's fine everything but this corner has been gathered now we just need to Make a tower around it. However, we're not going to be finishing the outside state because we're going to keep adding to this farm. We are going to have a tree farm here as well. Eventually, our top floor is going to be a tree farm and we're also going to have a snow farm built in as well, which is going to be very, very interesting. So time to work on the exterior. And the start of the tower is done. We're keeping up the same sort of aesthetics here, but we've got these sun metal pillars because it almost looks like piping, like tubings going up which I think is going to look really good. I'm not 100% sold on it just yet. I don't mind it too much. I feel like I need to add a bit more texture on this. Maybe pop something out, maybe some trap doors, just to seem like they're coming out a little bit, like they are actually encasing the pipes. But other than that, I think it doesn't look too bad. So, yes, that's another job done. So, that's really all we've got time for today. And, um, well... The only thing we've got left to do is to roll some gear and see if we get anything good. So um, let's go hop to it. So we got some good gear from that. So one piece of gear that we got that's really good is the shield. So it's only 12%, but it's plus four health instead of plus three. But it also has healing cloud, which is really good. So that's going to be a good backup. The sword is amazing. 21% stun chance, 16 attack damage and 30% soul chance, that's really good as well. These boots are really good, however, these boots are even better. We have tier three armor. Nine armor, plus seven health, plus knockback resistance, which isn't the best. Ideally, we would be, we might re-roll these and see if we can get, instead of, we want that tier three health, but we also want some armor. Extra armor be even, better just a bit of greed always is good so let's try it let's try and get let's see if we can get it so we've got plus two armor here oh come on plus two i want some health as well we need more we need more bronze we need more bronze while we're doing that let's roll this axe is this axe any good no, it is awful. Like, really bad. So we're not going to be using that one at all, which is, you know, a bit annoying. But I still think we can get...
this piece of armor are really good and the other ones we got as well we got some really good leggings and we got an amazing helmet 10 armor plus 11 percent item rarity this is going to get unbreaking and go to our mandatory our primary piece of armor yes it'd be good okay i kind of ruined these boots just a little bit we've got what a lot less armor now and the crafting potential is crazy low so what i think we're going to do is just invest a little bit just a little bit more bronze um let's go for that and we're just going to add whatever modifier we can to this now because it's got negative crafting potential which is not the best so let's just do this manu gen it's not too bad we'll take it we'll take it so we've got a really good helmet we got a not too bad leggings and we've got a good backup uh boots as well and we've got some a good backup sword and shield so if we look at our gear this was six and this is just so much better 10 so that's been switched out our boots here is six armor and this is just better because we've got nine plus a few extra bonuses and the leggings here we've got seven we've got eight compared to oh this one's got nine but it's got knockback resistance this has healing affinity. This is going to be a backup. So here is our backup set of armor. And this shield is 14%. This is 12%. Ooh, I honestly think that this one is going to be... No, let's keep it. Let's keep it as a backup for now. Let's chuck this into our little backup chest here. But that is all that we have time for today. And um, I'm sorry for any microphone issues. I've just got a new microphone. And, um, well, I'm trying to fiddle around with the settings. I think I finally got it working correctly and how I want to now. We'll find out soon. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, bye. <laughs>